Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers have encountered while using Google Chrome. Our viewer asks about the recent changes in the Chrome Developer Console, specifically regarding JavaScript violations. They want to know if there's a way to hide these violations that can clutter the console and distract from more important messages. Additionally, they miss the old checkbox feature for filtering debug output and are curious if there's a way to bring that back. Let's dive into these concerns and explore some potential solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To disable JavaScript violations in the Chrome Developer Console, we can use a simple workaround. First, open the Developer Tools by right-clicking on the page and selecting Inspect, or by pressing Ctrl-Shift-I. Once the developer tools are open, navigate to the console tab. Here you will see the violations listed. To filter them out, you can use the filter options available in the console. To filter out the violations, look for the filter icon at the top of the console. Click on it and uncheck the verbose option. This will help reduce the clutter in your console. Regarding the absence of checkboxes for different log types, unfortunately, Chrome has removed that feature in recent updates. However, you can still control the output by selecting the log levels, verbose, info, warnings, and errors. As of now, there is no flag to revert to the old checkbox method. You can provide feedback to the Chrome team through their official channels to express your preference for this feature. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. As of Chrome version 92, you can filter messages in the console using the left panel. Select User Messages to hide unwanted notifications. However, note that the filters reset when you close the panel, which may be an issue if screen space is limited. To specifically hide violation and DevTools messages, you can use filters like MASH Violation DevTools or simply MASH Violation DevTools. You can combine multiple filters with spaces. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Blah, 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 blah.